great news. Your Clover Station has arrived. Now, let's get you up and running quickly. Before you get started, be sure you have your activation code handy, which was emailed to you from support at clover.com. Once you've unpacked the contents of the Clover Station box or boxes, let's make sure you have everything you need. You should have the following Clover Station hardware components. The touchscreen display, the receipt printer with two rolls of thermal paper, the power cord, and a bag with a display cable and ethernet cable tucked inside. From the cash drawer box, you should have unpacked the cash drawer, keys, and the cash drawer cable. We'll start by connecting the cash drawer cable to the bottom of the cash drawer, then setting it to the side. Now we'll connect all the cords to the receipt printer. It's very important to do this before plugging it into a power outlet. Flip the printer so the bottom faces you. Starting at the far left, we'll insert the power cord first. Next is the display cable. It's important that you do not plug the wrong end of the cable into the printer. The end with the finger hold and green sticker with the printer icon goes into the port. We'll plug the other end into the display later. The ethernet cable that has the purple sticker with the printer icon gets inserted next. If you're using Wi-Fi, skip this step. Next is the cash drawer, if you received one. Insert the cash drawer cable that has the blue sticker with the printer icon into the blue colored port. Flip the printer right side up, being sure to guide the display cable to the left and the other cords to the right. Now, flip the touchscreen display upside down and remove the plastic feet protectors. Then, take the display cable coming from the receipt printer, labeled green with the display icon, and plug it into the bottom of the display. Then, set the display right side up. If you're connecting to the internet via an ethernet cable, be sure the cable is connected to your router and it's working properly. Now we can attach the power cord to the power brick, then plug the power cord into an outlet. It's recommended to always use an uninterruptible power supply to maintain power to the station and protect it from power surges. The Clover station has no battery power. If the unit loses power, it will turn off immediately. The unit will power on automatically. There is no power switch. While the station is powering on, remove the screen protector. Within 10 seconds, the Clover logo will appear on the touchscreen. Clover will recognize if you're connected to the internet using an ethernet cable. Tap the check connection button to confirm you're properly connected. If you're connecting via wireless, you'll tap the use wireless instead button and follow the prompts. Once the internet connection is functioning properly, you'll see a screen welcoming your business to Clover. Press continue. On the activation screen, you'll see the Clover ID for your station. Should you have technical problems and need to call support, you'll need this number. You'll be prompted to enter the activation code that you receive via email from support at clover.com. Once verified, you'll be taken to the next screen. We'll now set up the receipt printer by first loading in the paper. Pull up on the top cover and press the green button which will release the plate and allow you to flip it open. Insert the paper roll with the tail end of the paper towards the back of the printer. Hold the tail of the paper while you close the plate and cover at the same time. Then you can tap the test print button on the touch screen. Once the test receipt has printed, tap the continue button. You'll now create a pin which you'll use to access any of your station devices in store. Your name should appear on the screen. The default permissions for this pin is admin and you can change your pin or settings in the web dashboard at any time in the future if needed. Choose a six digit secure pin and enter the number. You'll then be prompted to enter it a second time to confirm. Okay, we're almost there. Now, let's test the card reader to the right of the touch screen. Swipe any credit card as shown. This will help you get the feel of swiping the card at the right angle. If the card reader doesn't recognize the swipe, you can try another card. Don't worry, no funds will be authorized on this swipe. The swipe will kick off a checklist of applications being installed on the station. Once that step is done, your setup is complete. You'll be prompted to tap on the Go to Apps button, which will take you to the Apps Marketplace, where you can familiarize yourself with the features that are preloaded on your station and other available apps. You can then tap on the Home button at the bottom of the display, which will take you to the Home screen. You can tap on the Apps icon at any time to go back and download additional apps to customize your Clover solution. There are various articles and tutorials on help.clover.com if you need assistance at any time 
or you can call your Clover support line 24-7. We're here to assist.